Hello and welcome back. Right, let's get this contract started. We started it to. Uh, we even did the course. All we've got to do is literally click crack on. Yep, that should be it. I do remember. Yes, we have. We start the course. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh yeah, no, no, no. The brood's on the edge of the field, but it's nothing to. Yeah, that's right. We've not got any. <laughs> it would be nice once I to use the brewing to actually, uh, actually do some spraying at some point. Right, we have got the. Um, that is a point. Yes, let's jump in there. We this was going wrong. I remember. Now that obviously the one thing that is confusing for me on comms is I've got two, um, two comms and my calms next stream and my normal calms then both which I absolutely really find fantastic but they are both different and I'm going to keep them different so that I do try to remember now in my calms next stream we are using the hidden field which is behind us in that field behind where the horse paddock is we're using that as our yard on this one we have the yard and we have the cows yard so yeah we're going to stick that so we don't have the same deliberately so I'm going to remember that hopefully but we have got this particular field on both actual sort of things now we did start I remember where we did do the course let's just try we don't want it first waypoint we want nearest and we're going to do that slightly ahead something went wrong with this though Let's just try and see what happens. Yeah, I think it's because it's going too far to the left. So what I'm going to shift this. Because they do like to do their little twiddle. And I'm going to see if it is that or whether it is literally to do with it's too far across. We don't want first, we want nearest, we want target position. There. Field position is there, that doesn't matter. Right, let's see if that works. If it's their little twiddle or whether it's going to hit the side of the field. Is it field margin or what is it? Let's have a look. And now this time it's weighing. No, no, it's going out. I'm trying to watch it a little bit to see the. Yeah, now that's got plenty of margin for error. It's nowhere near the side, so that's good. But the real trick is, when it does its turnarounds, we won't really know until it's done a couple of rounds. Right, okay, that's fantastic. But the one thing I would like to do is visit our field to see... Yes. Yeah, this is ready as well. Smashing now then. Do know ah we have got a bale that's hidden away. Right, okay. Look at it. Oh seriously. Right, okay. Let's go and see what on earth is happening. Oh corners, where's the corners? Oh yeah, by an awful lot. So this course is no good then. Let's do the out around and see if what happens when we've done that. Yes, it's quite been quite a few days. Uh, not a week, but less than a week since I did my last little foray on Carmston. So, yes, I wanted to get cracking on this. I wanted to have a look at this, but I don't mind doing a bit of manual and a bit of cosplay. I would like to just get to the bottom. Of, yeah, I'd love to get this mower right. But it seems it's not to be. Now then, that's what I'm going to 
we just finish that? I've not quite finished that first. Edge right. Let's get there. And then we're going to start on the second section. Let's see, it's not only course play that bashes into things. As well. Right. Okay, now then let's. This next to the edge of the field. So, of course, play does the second round. Want to see what the up and the down like, really, job. Not first target, second round. Let's have a look. At least with the second round, it shouldn't be hitting anything. I just want to see. It's really after the first two outer bits where it does the ups and the downs. That's the bit where you really do see if you've got your courses right. So it's the overlap. Yeah, now that has got overlap on the left hand side by about a third of the mower. So that is that is as it should be somewhat. That is to do with the settings we've chosen. So that's looking good. the Anderson somewhere at the shop or something like that. I did. We'll go fetch that, yeah, that with this after... Oh, wow. Oh, that, that's because I set it. That's the second round start. This is the last inner section, if I remember rightly. Then we should be on the up and the down. It's the up and the down lines that are the ones that go wrong if you don't have your offsets right. So I'm very anxious. This was a guesstimate though, this one. 20% completed. I have two contracts mods on. One which you can see on there. Contract on field 21 is 20% completed. So that is looking good. Better contracts and one by Ragman, who is also my one of my biggest heroes at the minute because he released the ah that reminds me the paint mod. Let's have a quick look on that because it's on a mod uh, ma mod by mod a map by map basis. Yes, I did it. Here we are. Maintenance cost. I've stuck this down at 25 and I've used this on the old stream farm exactly the same settings and they I don't think they're too bad. Right now, then I think this you know, is the next one. It should go back down. This will be to see how badly or well we've actually got the. Or is that still the. Uh, it could be this one. The yeah, XFR should go down this far edge and then up the next to it. I think. It says. Yeah, so this it will not be this one, it'll be the one from the other end of the field that comes back up. And this we shall see. The right or the wrong. I 
earth. What on earth are you doing going all the way out over there? What? Why would you go so far? How's that? My life. Ridiculous. Do you know? Seriously. So, it's the other end. What on earth are you even doing down this end? That is absolutely ridiculous. It should not even be down this end. It should be the other end it goes. It goes on the third one and then it goes down that line. Ridiculous. Yes, I do like that on the contracts, the, uh, I'll show you, better contracts, uh, no I can't actually, I can't show you what mine are about, yeah, better contracts and, ooh, what is the other one, I shall have to get the uh, information for next time, unless I came out of the, the game and had a look at it, I can't remember, actually to, in my defence, I only installed it tonight, Improved contracts, or one's better contracts and the other one's improved. Ah, so it did go up here. Ah, so it is. All oh, right, okay, yeah. So it did do that line. It's literally its return line. So it's going to do exactly the same again. I find that ridiculous that you need so much swing space. That's, that's why I do three things to give it enough room to turn. I wouldn't mind, but the case has got an absolutely amazing turning circle. we know we actually were up to where we were up to this time create job not first nearest and we want to go down there go and oh, please don't do your silly twiddle oh Now that is what I call an... Uh, actually though, he's doing the overlap. That is doing the overlap, because it would need to return on almost the same line, but that seems a bit too much to me. So this is going to be the real decider on what he does, but of course it's going to probably do exactly the same as it did last time and crash into the... yeah. It's exactly the same turning circle programmed into course play. So to me, this is going to do exactly the same as that one. It looks to me then, if I get my measurements right, which I'm not sure I have been as it kept on crashing into the outer section. It's This is the true decider though. Yes, I know. You're going to hit the thing exactly the same. This is ridiculous. Just really see. Set destination. No, we don't want to do that. Create job. Nearest target. And it is going down this time. Should be that one there. Go. See. No, no, that is terrible. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, not enough, not on the uh, horizontal. That's that's what it's missed then. That's shocking then. So I've really got that way out. I need it to do two lines there, one up, one down, to see what I've actually missed exactly. Do need him to do an up and a down to actually gauge exactly how much is missed. See, now that is actually way too much to the right. I don't know if that's the vertical offset or it should be horizontal, but the vertical offset. It didn't seem to do anything. I already tried this with the horizontal and it didn't do anything with this having a vertical and horizontal. So, yeah, I'm just going to do exactly the same again. So, I'm wasting my time doing this. Let's crack on. Let's do standard work for this and um, get cracking. If I, yeah, let's just get that bit really next to us because that might get forgotten. because there's so much faffing around with that that it's made it very untidy. I don't want to be missing any grass. This is our livelihood. This would be interesting, I suppose, if we see what the normal work does with this, because there should be well enough turning circle for this. If I can't get this right, though, I'm just going to, because we can afford it now, we could have just actually bought a uh, butterfly, butterfly mower. would be really the uh, way to go. Then there's none of this faffing around with offsets. This mower, though, is the difficult. I actually got the offset right with the side mower, it's just this one seemingly can't get right because it's got two offsets I'm almost ready to abandon the whole process because I just use a standard yeah, butterfly which then I don't have this and learn a lesson that is don't walk around with these silly side mowers but then again when I get some in the sales on a, a let's play let's get that sorted as well It's not so easy. You've got to, you've got to not run away from something. Right, let's have a look. Let's just angle that like that. Excellent. Right, that's a traditional work. Let's grab the. Yeah, that's exactly the one we want. I thought I'd angled him correctly. even doing it the uh, trouble is now uh, let's see which way the mower goes oh, oh no, he is doing right. okay fantastic 
fantastic, create job first, and that's all good. Go. What? I don't get this. I seriously don't get how on earth <laughs> you can't reach that position. Create job, first waypoint. That's both right. Go. Please. chance of crashing. We do need to repair this after this. Right. That shouldn't be too bad. Right, so we need to load. Load the course. Activate. Go to that. Create job. First waypoint. Yeah, that should be a matter of going go. As long as it doesn't try to do a twiddle to the left. There, if it's me that's the object, I have now removed myself from the problem. Let's be careful of oncoming objects. You are no longer blocked by an object. If said object was me, Same as we did for the other one. It doesn't seem to be able to do the twiddle. Oh, we've got them crashed. We have, of course we have. Of course we have. Chances of two objects crashing on this field.
we're still going okay. That's all looking good. Excellent. Ah, animals. We have only got animals on this let's play in my entire FS22 world. How are we doing over there? Ah, we needed to top up. I seem to recall. Yes, actually, we said it will last till tomorrow morning and we would be right. should work nicely because he should have done that end. That's all, uh, all to do with the baler now. Are they going to catch each other on that far side? When you've got multiple things on a field, this is the obviously the unforeseen circumstances, the way the courses crisscross, which is, in all my personal experience, is exceptionally hard to work out unless you do tracks like race track or spiral and even then it's still they still have to intersect on the outer edges at times ah, so the contract is very close to completing Ooh, it's going to be close as they do faff around on their turns He's on his last run, this should be the last bit that the normal work has got to do. We shall try again with this course. I shall e erase it and try from scratch. Have a few guesses. Try to get this right. Right, smash in. Ooh, yeah. Oh, they've missed, that's good. Fantastic. Right, let's grab that because that is going to finish on this run.
Fantastic. Right, yeah, we could do with. I think, if I remember rightly, forward my. We could do with a tool, another tool place, but not actually on the fields. That seems a little bit. Yeah, not quite right. Let's go grab the Anderson. things I've figured out on this map and one is that they don't like this little lane down here so it's which is typical if I set it going now it's going to prove me wrong yes but yeah they don't like being set off down this little lane on the AI worker bits you have to get them really right down the bottom literally on the main road those autumnal colours they're beautiful. Now that's an interesting thing. I just want to see if uh, Oxygen David has fixed this. Because I remember the first time I saw it as a vivid he has. They were a really horrible fiery orange that had gone wrong. Those weird hedges, the square ones. They have definitely been fixed. Yeah, we've definitely still got autumnal colours but not to that extent. Right, we're going to do this ourselves. same thing over and over again. Right, ploughing, no, cultivating, no, fertilising, small, very small, 23. Now then. Right. Now then. So was a purpose to be going in there and for the life of me I cannot. This is all my, always my worst day. This is my uh, my Friday at work. That that might sound odd because it's Thursday but yeah my Fridays are Thursdays. I only do four days. I'm always at my most tired after work on the Thursday evening so forgive me if I am at times <laughs> on automatic pilot because that's pretty much right yeah, or if I make no sense whatsoever at certain moments in this this time then that's quite possible right now that's right we did actually take these we did at least we have taken them. that's why our money's up I remember we were down at 80 odd why did I do that I should have struck it out view field 21 excellent so we can finish that contract then and that will oh that's gonna no we don't want to do that that's that is true we don't all right send this set destination now they don't like let's just send it to the beginning of that in fact, no, let's try this is this should yeah yeah that i'm right it's, so we should be able to send it to that point. Brilliant. Right, so we need to be grabbing the higher tractor. Otherwise he's gonna drop our front box. There, we don't want that. We need to drop that off down at our end. Cracking job he's done. And 
that's going to earn us quite a bit of money. Just need to drop that front box off and then I'm happy. Drop that off. Ah, I know where we can drop it off, but it's not too... Ah, that wasn't a bad guess. Let's use 56 litres of our front box, which means we did need the front box. Which is, yeah, I like that. Fantastic, that will be, uh, we need to shift that, or he is going to cause trouble, but let's just quickly get to the end of this road, we can drop this on the uh, our yard, and then we'll uh, ring the farmer to come collect his equipment from off at the edge of our farmyard. There is our little, no, it is no use in this. Endeavour has got no three points, so we can only do trailer hitches really. Yeah, we moved all those. Yeah, we did. I was just trying to catch up on this Let's Play. I'm f seriously wondering whether or not to buy Field 8 on this. So we are obviously trying to maximise the amount of silage we do. Because I'm trying to break out into traditional farming, but we've obviously got lots of equipment to buy. At the minute, we've only got grasswork equipment, but I don't want us to be doing grasswork forever. I really don't. This is just a start. I bought the brewing, and that, of course, since buying the brewing, we've had no spraying contracts, which is typical. Right, let's drop that front box off, and then we shall farmer to come collect his tractor and we shall complete brilliant now shall we refresh contracts Ooh. okay uh, between the two of them yeah we will we will accept and we will accept Absolutely we will. Now then, we need to look at the our garage. We need to be looking for our fertilizer spreader. We need to be showing on the map. Whereabouts are you? Where is the green? Aha, it's on field 36. Fantastic. Right then, so who are we going to choose? I think, oh yeah, that was predictable. It was. We want the star. Uh, ah, it's the star hasn't finished actually. Ah. Actually it was that that went got in the wrong, it's gone over a bale. That's why he got in his way. So we need to start him. Let's move him out of the way. It is the star that I could have done with. I could use the Zeta. Okay, so we need to... Let's pull it back slightly. And let's create job. Nearest target. Let me just zoom in a little. I've gone out a bit. Is the down, which should be that one there. Go. Yeah, I'm gone. That object is now gone. Oh, please don't tell me you mean the bail. Oh, do you know this is ridiculous? Yeah. 
wall. That bale about as, it's about as much danger to you as I don't know what. Seriously? Right, let's try this again. Said object is now out of your way. It truly is. Shifted. Out of your way. Target position. Going up on that one. Go. Right, fantastic. He says. Just do a bit of tidying up whilst we're in this. Let's get in a little. What are you doing? Yes, he is fantastic. Outside is its slow speed on the road. It's a small price to pay. It's good, good in every other way. We can't have everything. a bit more this time. Last time I was on the map I wasn't really feeling it very much but yes, I'm looking for, I have been looking forward all day to actually coming on the calms the map. I do truly like, I love this map. It's excellent. Right, let's get that. Was he, was he avoiding the bail? Was I seeing the past a bit? That's the only bad bit about not completing the windrow. It may be more advisable in going forwards to actually allow the windrow to complete before starting the baler. It does seem this, that caused mayhem for the windrow, really. So obviously he bumps into the bales that the baler's done on the first couple of rounds. So yes, seriously, I'm not going forwards. Even though I love to do the crisscross and I love to actually do this because you're finishing the job quicker, it's, quick. it's not always the best way to do things. That's a massive chunk there. Massive chunk. Yeah, it's about as good as it's going to get, I think.
shall uh, put a bit of clean on this. So, excellent. That will be the wind drawer. Just tidy this up and we'll set the baler going again. This finish off finishes off the baby. Yeah, I think I think field eight. If I'm honest, I, my favourite is field ten for grass work. I bought that on my Arms and Extreme. Now then, thinking about this, yeah, we need to be doing create job nearest target. Crisscrosses, so I would say there. Go. Now we should grab the. the Max. Fantastic. Might have a bit of cleanup, I might have set him on the wrong. I'm not sure if there was the outer section to do. But Then we need the weight on the edge of this field. Are we like fuel wise, yeah, we're okay for fuel. I need to grab this weight. Ooh, that's a bit too heavy. Cool, it's actually, yeah, that is a point. We are going to need the wind drawer up on the top field anyway, so let's just grab the wind drawer first. It's going to hopefully offset the weight of that on the front. Just make it too funny hilarious. It does a nosedive with a weight on it. I don't somehow think it would quite work like that. I suppose it, it might. Oh, please. It's better. Yeah, it is. Oh, seriously. Ah, okay. Actually, yeah. That's because I have sent you on the wrong line. But you need to be on the next line. So, with that in mind, it should be kind. I should set you on close to that line. Close. Let's just get that tiny bit of clean up. We should spin around. There's no bales near you. Right, let's try that again. Yeah, that is the. Oh, I'm gone. Ooh, it's from the other end, actually. 
so set it from here. Otherwise that's not gonna work. Nearest target we need to be coming down that row. Go. We should grab the star. -er. Excellent. We'll take that up to the top. Yeah, still find the way a little bit. It's not perfect, but oh, seriously! Every stop by every bale. How far are we gonna get? Even be there. You shouldn't even be anywhere over there. I actually set you where you were going to avoid that. No. Okay, let's try that again. Babysit. I do think, yeah, it's the bales that are doing it though, so seriously, they're going to be this finickety. I seriously think. Oh, is it? Are you going to. Still got a bit of wobble because of the weight throwing me around a bit, but it's terrible. We'll do field 36 next session because this is. We'll get these two fertilizer ones done and we shall get shifted over to the other field with the case. We've got. Yeah, let's send this. Let's see if we can send him up to field 36. From here, let's avoid running the dog over. Okay, set destination field 36, and we'll grab the case. And we shall manually run that to where we've just come from. And we should grab the mower and we should go to field 36. off that field so that we can help the uh, baler the ones that he's going to hit at the end of each line I think that's what we've got to do but I do think going forward some lessons need to be learned and that is that we do not do not set the baler going until the window is finished I think going forwards that's the way to do this I also think if we can afford it no, I'm not. I'm gonna no. I am gonna have another couple of goes at using that disc mine to see if I can get the offsets right. But I think we need to be doing it on field four rather than field 36 because there's not enough of a run up on 36. It's too small, I think, to to actually be doing. Right. So it's the end ones. We want. Let's get these out of the way. The outer edge ones, they should be okay. okay. That should be fine. All those on the left hand side should be fine. This one on the end might get in the way. This one's on that end, might get in the way. This one's over here may be in its peripheral vision, which seems enough for it to have a wobble. I don't know why. 
Hilfe. Those at the top of the field till last, though, we really will. Look at these down this end. Should be okay now. Now then, we need to be getting the star going. Who is charging me for sitting at the edge of the field? Seems to be having difficulty though, if I'm honest, with just going that way. It seems to be. Yeah, it's dragging on the floor. No, it was all. Why all of a sudden it should start to drag when it didn't drag before? Let's see if it's a bit more sharply. Drop that first, the weight. That. Spread fertilizer spreader. That makes no sense. Excellent, lovely jubbly, cracking job. So then, let's get those, let's run this over, get these going. 21 and 23, both in that far corner. Set these going, 23 who comes first. So that's what we're going to do, start that off, then we'll carry on with the bailing. What time we are we oh, five above the night. September, so we should get one more cut in December. Whoa. Or November. Oh, depends on the weather. November's the safest one to actually do. But yeah, so we do need to be cutting field 36, whether it's manual or not. It doesn't have to be this play session, but we definitely can't speed the day through. Or oh, I've got to get used to saying month, not day. It really is a month the month of September. Yeah. Right, fantastic. The gate's open. Let's set this going. And then when we finish at the end, we should get 21 underway. Targets. Let's make sure there's ah, now that now the, actually for once field margin is the thing that does the borders of the land, so there's a bit of overlap. On fertilizing spreading, it really doesn't matter. It does for almost everything else. So I have got to start to pay attention. We want yeah, I just say one headland, I think, if I'm honest. Generate Yeah smash in and start and then we really want to grab the magnum not for a job we just want to enter smash in Yes, I have a square baler on my um, the old stream farm. It's one of the few times I've actually had a square baler. It's a really big one as well. Quadrant. Glass again. 
So I'm enjoying using the square baler, but I still to still swear having used round balers such a lot that this the fast baler is still my absolutely definitely preferred baler of choice. I still prefer round to square. I do. I know rounds roll. I know they have got their disadvantages. I do know this. They don't very often roll and there are ways to combat that by not choosing a field that actually goes into a river or something. That's the way. Wow, we are going to have a lot on this. I shall have a look in a minute to see how many... That little one that might be in its way. That's one. Smashing. What is that? Wow, I think we got. Actually, yeah. Let's grab that. Need to grab the mowers. So we can have a look at that though now. I just want to have a look at these, see how many bales we've done this session. 41? Oh, wow. That is fantastic. We need to fertilise this, our own field as well. Need to do it manually so as to avoid hitting the bales. Right, 36. Do. Actually, no, we, we will set a course ourselves. Still not going to hurt. But I do think we need to be doing four rounds. I suppose there is one way I can sort of cheat. And that is to just go round and round, especially with field 36, because that's field 36. You can just literally, it's such, such a small field that you could just set the headlands on four or five, and it will just go round and round and do the entire field or go round and round. That way, it will never really need the offset. Not bad on the field 36. We're still playing around with it on field four. Still, I would like to at some point actually get to the bottom on fixing the offset problem. Just need to tweak that field four course until the offset's right. Seems to have gone too much offset on one side. Now then, yeah, we're all right. Yeah. Bring the dog over. We oh, we finished that, haven't we? Let's just. No, no, we haven't. I was just thinking I can't see the contract section, it, it had disappeared, but it's back. This field target position is there, that is right. Course generator. We don't want any field margin on this because this could well affect us, and it could have been that that did the other one. Right, we want 
we don't know on that number of headlands. We're going to go for... Yeah, let's try to do this. Let's just try this without any kind of offset. Yeah, okay, so let's try this. Let's just try that. Oh. I hate the way it does that. No, I want field position, sorry. Target position. I do indeed want that away. Which will, of course, generate, yeah. No, well, at least it's remembered the. Oh, no, that's totally wrong. It's 20, that's 6, and that is 3, so that is just 30. Let's try 27, we'll allow a bit of overlap just naturally with the amount, because it's about 30 foot I should say, so if we go for 27, that'll allow natural overlap just by the fact that actually my mowers are bigger than what I'm going for. So start. Yeah, that's actually, that's just going round and round. Farmer's daughter, I think. Yes, it is. Let's just wait a minute and make sure that this is going to work. It should be no. We shouldn't be going over our field. We should literally be to the edge but without any overlap. What are you doing? Okay. Oh wow, you start points right up there, I see. acceptable. Let's grab you and let's go and grab wow. Field 21 which is just above us I think. Yes it is. It is definitely the one above us. With having the two columns and let's plays I'm not I can recognise the numbers most of the time now. I know where most of the field numbers are. There's a lot of big fields on this map. Yeah, the Kunax seems to use a lot of fertiliser. I'm using the uh, my favourites with it seemingly a very low is the Lizard XL. That has got an absolutely amazing um, fertiliser rate. Really, really low. It's Phenomenal. Well worth the money. Right, let's get this going. Okay, so course play. Create job. We want to... Oh, we might run out of fertilizer. Pick your position. And target position, exactly where we are. Course generation. One headland generate. Smash in and go. We should grab back and see how the Magnum's doing. Let's have a look and see if we're missing anything. No, not unduly. Not little tiny bits of clean up that I expect with using a disc bite really. But it is actually on the edge of each of the things, so that is actually working. To say there's going to be a bit of cleanup, most definitely. Whilst well, so that's doing that, then let's go grab you. Let's go and grab the seat. It is this one with the seat tender. I think 
Oh, or is it extreme? This is the bit where it gets me every single time. Have we got the seed tender on this one? Auger wagons, we have. Alright, where are you? I think you're up at the farm. Show on map. So my other let's play, I've put this in as all just floating. We need to fix that at some point. I hate that when you can see floaty wheels. Right, let's get that. Let's go a bit closer. my life, that's way out. If I go under it, you don't do it. If I don't go under it, you do do it. Ridiculous. Right, anyway. Game mechanics are a beast. Right, let's switch to in cab cabless. <laughs> I love these type of things when there is no cab. does very well this does for dragging this massive thing around very well it doesn't drag it around too much either for saying how heavy it is I think it does very well now I'm trying to think the best way to get to field 21 without unrealism is to literally go right to the end of this road Imagine no, we can we can actually go around the edge of this field on 23. It's not beyond the realms of possibilities. And being as we've just done this contract, I don't really think the farmer would mind unduly us going around the edge. Oh, he says he catches the post. this I don't want to, want to be leaving any gates it's not fair and that's more like it yeah it's struggling somewhat which you'd expect it to do with eight tons plus however heavy that beast is itself it's a bit of a about some weight in the actual trailer, the auger itself, truthfully. There. 
Oh, please don't tell me you've done absolutely nothing. You're wasting pounds and pounds, and you've done. Uh, you're just doing the round and round trick. Oh, seriously. You are. You're fired. I did stop you manually. This is true. Because I don't like being robbed of people who go round in circles and don't do the job that I've asked them to do. I somehow think that's a little bit wrong. this actually works this time. Seriously? <sighs> yes, we do want first waypoint, target position is there. Let's go, let's make sure we actually do the job this time. Does look a lot better. There you do. Lady with a clip. Oh, yeah, you're the um, flip flop lady, one who doesn't doesn't take uh, <laughs> safety of footwear terribly well. Let's just put it like that, shall we? Right, we need to set destination back at field 36, I think, and you. Obviously, got stuck. Have you finished? What on earth were you doing over there? That's what I want to know. Seriously, want to know that. Well, the course did work, is the main important thing. Obviously, there's a lot of corner bits and stuff that aren't quite right, but they never will be. You'd need probably a butterfly mower that does a perfect up and a down and around to avoid that kind of. That's the trouble with the disbands if they start to go around a corner, get that separation. doing an overlap, there's not really much you can do about that. Right. Not to be wasting grass, that is definitely true. off when I'm in the middle of a recording session one of these times mind you, I say that it doesn't every time but it does a lot typical right I'll be, be interested on this because last time we did this unfertilised and uh, we were right down to a terrible amount of bales, about six or seven bales, which was terrible. We did fertilise this this time. Let's see, it's smashing, I think. That will, yeah, that is. Let's get those two folded. We should stick that next to the stone cutter. Now the 
way a little bit. that doing as that please that tummy's bumped into something or she I have never known them to do the round and round trick afterwards. What is this? Has it actually done anything on this field at all? No! Oh my life! This is ridiculous! I should have known, I should have looked at how much fertiliser was in the thing, shouldn't I? How stupid is this? Target position. There. Field position. Correct. Go! I felt sure that was going to work this time. Oh my life. I've never seen the round and round trick be so bad as this. No, no, yeah, it's, it is. It's, no. Clear off. God, Bennett. Just in course place. I, I did say this the other day. It's weird how the worker systems can one time be absolutely amazing and another time be absolutely terrible. I've had no trouble with cosplay at all and then all of a sudden today right, this sets traditional worker. We won't ask any questions why how the farmer's daughter is appearing to be in two different places. Right, let's grab the magnum. Let's, let's repair this as well while we're over this uh, wall over this side. Now that's had an update, this stone thing, you'll see there's now a water tank on top. We need to buy a water tank now, especially to do this in going forwards. If next time we get. Yeah, let's clean this while we're here. It's not too bad bits at the bottom of the window, the first telltale signs I always find up when you've got a bit of muck, but they're annoying when you're in cab. Nearly gone. Nearly gone. Excellent. Fantastic. So we have done all of our grass work. We now need to, yeah, windrower, actually. Let's set this going. I can't remember if we've done 36 windrowing. Go and grab the. Oh, come on, you should be right. That was well within grip. Oh, no, actually, no, it wasn't. It was. I do apologise. Angles can make all the difference. Okay, let's stick this on the field edge. Check though, see if I have done 36. No, I haven't. Clear current course. Great job. Smashing, that's not bad at all. Course generation. Oh, that's totally wrong. 8.4 meters is 24, about 25 meters, 25 feet. Do that. We'll just stick to the closest to 25. I still don't understand why we why you would do feet for something that again when it works in yards, yeah, uh, meters even. Right, generate. So we don't want any field margin. No, that's remembered. Brilliant. Smashing and go. Let's go grab the doits. Need to grab the bay there. Now that had a little bale 
Ah, did as well. It was for that, the Anderson. Right. It's, yeah, it's a bit in cab, out of cab. Ooh, we've nearly got a full bay in the back. Oh. You have not completed that. No, you haven't at all. Why have you gone into field 21? 22 even? Do you know? Now you're going to make me look unrealistic because I've got to go through a hedge. Stupid. This is getting silly. So even the standard work is having a bad day today. It's typical. Always when you're tired. Never. I always say this is true. Right. Okay then. You had to turn the wrong way. At least this way he should turn to the right, or she should turn to the right, because the is the left has already been done. So it's about there, I should say. Switch backwards. Go. Not bad. Not bad. Right. So we need to be grabbing. What are you doing? Please tell me you're not doing the round and round trick. Please. No, you are doing a good job. Excellent. Alright, brilliant. Let's grab. Yeah, it shows the little bale. Let's zoom in. We're doing cameras. Yeah. Yeah, we need to repair this as well, so I'm glad we're going up to field 36. We shall, no we shall, we shall leave it once field 21 is finished and we've grabbed that, we'll leave it. I think we'll start doing the bailing on field 36 next session, but we're not going to speed time up, we'll go on to tomorrow. No, that should be left. Chickens, that's a point. Milk, I think. We did it last time, yeah, smash it. That's why our money was also on I remember. percent completed. Excellent. Yes, I think our next purchase is going to be field 8. That is a field where the bales will roll downhill, but that is okay as long as we start on the bottom. But as I said, actually, I'm going to learn my lesson. We're going to set the um, mower going well first, then we're going to do the windrower without the baler being on the field. Oh, it's, it's got to be the fertilizer spreader, sure. Yes. Seriously? Oh my life. You've fallen down a ditch. And of course the weight is going to get in your way. Oh my life. You've well jammed me in. Wait a minute. does that? Yeah, this is the only time really when things get a bit bad because because he always does that attach. That's my the ones. No, it won't work out. Should have stuck to using the case, I think, for this. Oh no. Okay, we need to push that backwards, I think, at a weird angle, or we're not going to get this. Are 
you should have let me get away with that. That's ridiculous. Come on, you should be able to do that. Do you know something? I think we're going to do this because I am sick to death of work errors. They are such an absolute pain in the backside. They really are. And tonight they've been worse than normal. We've had crashes and scares at bales and all sorts of weird and wonderful things. So let's just do this the old fashioned way. seconds to get to that uh, oh My mouse keeps disappearing I've got a piece of software that uh, I've got two two laptops and if they're both on the software allows the mouse to travel from one screen to the next screen over the Wi-Fi unfortunately because I often forget to switch this off, I've only got my one gaming laptop on, but it's trying to send the mouse to the laptop that's not even on at the minute. So that means it goes off the edge of the screen and means in Farming Simulator I can't see it on the map. So yes, defeated by a clever piece of software. I think this is an ideal use of very buff width on the needs knocking down one. Just get that tiny bit of excess. May let us get away with that edge. I'm not gonna argue with that thin strip that we've got along part of that edge. I'm not. Not for once, because it's gonna be very difficult to get that and it is a tis a thin strip. And I'm gonna tidy this bit up there where he went into the ditch. Like full width, this bit should change it to variable width as we go up. Well, I was going to say, why is it not showing me the contract thing? Sometimes I think you've got to, got to have a little bit too much, but yeah, I'm reasonably happy with that. Six. Aha! He made it. Oh no, that's the Magnum. Where is my little? 
Where is the tender gone? Yeah, where is the gator? <laughs> where? Where is the gator? Seriously? No, that's the... Oh, never mind. I'll find it next time. Gordon Bennett. Send that to that field edge ages ago. Still charging me money. He'll be stuck somewhere. To be cancelling that. I do hate this to be charged money for people faffing around, driving around in circles. For once, yeah, let's just tab. I hate tabbing, but oh, thank you. Yeah, that's fantastic. Been charged for Ooh, so annoying. You're not kidding. I stop you manually robbing me. Cheek of it. Get him up to the field and then I think that is all done. I should just collect the last bit on that. So we should just have a quick look to see how much field eight is. I think we've got enough. I don't want to leave us short though. Great. Yes, of course you did. I did stop you, clanging into a post, not so clever. Artificial intelligence, not so much. Awful intelligence, maybe. Artificial, also true, but definitely not worthy of such a good title. Awful intelligence, I shall dub it. AI. Awful intelligence. Let's get this repaired, that's the last thing we'll do. We should just see how much field 8 is. I think it's 100 and something. It should have been enough. Let's remind myself as well. I did, I think I've got a load, or did I pay that off already? Sure, need to check this. Not sure, we've gone close enough. What do we have? Fantastic. Now, do we need washing? No, maybe the fast bail does a little. a bit of a tiny short do with a little bit. Fantastic. And that I think let's just get him off the field though. Let's grab the case. Make sure that we've not missed anything. I think we're good actually. We do also need to save that course. There's a bit in the middle that would take Let's just save that course. Save. Activate field 36. 8.4 litre wind. Brilliant. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. No. Go away. Yeah, there's that bit there, but I can. Yeah, that can stay. I'm sure we can manually clean up that little bit. Right, so... Let's have a quick look. Oh, let's collect the contract as well.
brilliant. So our grand total is 139,481. We've done over 40 bales, and I think we've got quite a few bales to do on this next session. So we will have done quite well on the bales this time, which is a good place to be. Let's have a look. We need field... Yeah, 10 is my favourite, but 8's not bad. Oh, that's going to leave us very short. Hmm. About 800 left. That's not really what I would like to leave us in such a. Let's have a look what contracts are on offer. Oh. Field 16, that's right behind us. Mm, it's a fair sized. That's the 12 meter Russell Mash, I think. Okay, we will, we will do that. And what we will do is, in fact, shall we? We will borrow items as well. And we will set those both going. We'll literally put them on the edge of the fields. I don't mean literally set them going. Right, let's go back to the store. And we will grab those. So 18 and 16, 18's right over there, that's a mod, so that's going to take two sessions at least with that. I suppose we could do what I did before, which is to get a different plough, get the 9 metre height lease that for about a grand, it's going to, because it, it's just it's going to do it in one session, then I know it's going to cost me to do it, I do, I seriously do know that. Let's, yeah, that's not going to do that in one. Let's just spin that around. Seriously. We shall set this. So this is the field 16 one. We shall set this one on its merry way. Let's grab. Let's send you destination. Set destination. Edge of field 16. Sure, you'll do that. I'm not going to look at where you. Yeah, I think we'll do that. I seriously. Oh, we've got our own plough. I'm, I'm being stupid. Why should I hire a plough when I can use my own? Now then, where did I leave that? I think it's in the yard. Let's have a look. Let's use that excellent feature. Oh, I know where it is. I do know where it is. For once, I've remembered. It's on the. It's right next to the stone thingamajiggera, the lime production stone crusher. So let's get that. We should go over to that. Grab our plow. Set this on the edge of field 18. And we should leave the other one on the edge of 16 ready to rock and roll next time we should leave these two jobs cracking on and that should be quite good that should give us enough money to buy field 8 for the session afterwards definitely thoroughly enjoyed this session absolutely been so fantastic to be back on this let's play and on comms in itself I think we're making cracking progress like to have spent time up till tomorrow morning till October but yeah now we need to do the bales I don't want to be wasting time we should get one more cut in at the end of this year and we are that is our main income I know we're doing contracts as well which is certainly speeding us on our way but we may get some spraying contracts thinking about it because of the canola That's, no that was August Surprise me, I'm having spring contracts today. Let's have a look. Let's just refresh contracts because we should have had some really. Let's refresh. Nope. <laughs> no more contracts are appearing. Okay. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Careful. This is a very, very expensive piece of equipment. I'm still pleased with our progress on this. I really am. I'm loving this, um, even this let's play got quite a lot of few bits and bobs 
we could buy field eight we could but it would so severely skint us that yeah I seriously don't want to leave us in such a precarious position if I'm honest Extended it to the nine. If I didn't, and it's a six, I will extend it to the nine now and get the extensions fitted. It's about two thousand, I think. Ah, uh, oh dear, oh dear. Mm, yeah. No. We'll take her because you're making that look like you're an alien from another planet. Seriously. Yeah, we will take over. Thanks, but no thanks. Smash it so you are from 16 just here. Yeah, oh, I think it's the 9. Smash it, so there we go. You are on the edge of the field. Ready for next. Oh. own plow. It's going to cost us no money at all to to do that. Do you know, I've been an idiot, haven't I? I'd, I'd totally forgotten that, on, again, that just goes to show, I'd totally forgotten that I'd got the 9 meters. So I've leased a plow I didn't want and a tractor when I could have used our own case. Mind you, it would have tied the case up. Mind you, actually, to be honest, the um, the Deutz manages that plough, but hey ho, we've done what we've done now, so it is what it is. Thrown five grand away. We didn't need to spend a single dime. At least we've got the nine meter, and at least it's going to be done quickly. Not worth repairing for three percent, is it? Right, should set him on the edge. And next session we should get those two contracts underway early on. And that should actually give us more than enough of a of a buffer to buy that field. Get that Ooh, that reminds me, yes. Let's have a quick look at its fertilization state. So I'd imagine it's it uh, varies actually, but you can't always guarantee field 8 is, let's turn that off no, not plowed at all, not, no fertilisation state oh well, it is what it is, I must think it is yeah, just the one through the first gateway. It's a massive field. Both of these fields here are humongous. I do love to prepare in the end of the session before for the next session because I think it makes such a massive difference. I truly do. Right, there we go. That's him on the edge of the field too. We've got our grass baler ready to do that next time we've got the cultivator on the edge of the field and we've got the plow on the edge of the field so it's a matter of setting everybody going next session and yeah leaving it there is there anything else i needed to do no we're all good look at how, what we did those fertilizing 11 28 and 27 before we bought field four we need to fertilize field four Shall I get the star ready for that? Where is the star? Oh, there. Yeah. Let's grab this to field four so that next time we can. Uh, in fact, do you know, it's the last job I'm going to do today because I'm only going to forget it. And it's literally with this, the spread on this beast, it's not going to take us very long to whip around that field. Let's just get that done. In fact, we can. We can be clever. Says. Could be 
because I'm sticking through the uh, yeah. it's half and half through the trigger. Okay. Last job of the day. Let's get this sorted. Yes, I'm going to avoid using the hidden field on this Let's Play so that I give enough, the two Let's Plays enough distance that I am not uh, going to get confused any more than I already am with having two constants. I still don't regret it though, it is a beautiful map, it really is, so I'm really chuffed that we have got the two Let's Plays of the to have the extreme where literally with no bank loans the extreme and uh, yeah well we had absolutely no money we actually probably I would say actually doing better on that one than this yeah I would say really the two let's plays and yeah, probably um, oh I need to just extend that again brilliant do so you go in. Yeah, so the two Let's Plays, I would say that is actually doing better than this one. We've got Field 4 the same, we've also got Field 10, which is quite an expensive. I think it was 200 and something thousand, so yeah. Why is my speed so slow? Yes, of the two, I would say that we're probably doing... Oh, I, no, actually, I don't think we are. No, not when I work it all out. We've got the, the yard over the road. We've got the cow. No, I would say, actually, of the two, this one is doing marginally better, including the... Mind you, the cost of cows isn't that expensive now, but nevertheless, we've got lots of chickens, lots of cows. We haven't got any of that on extreme at all. So, no, I would say, actually, this is still slightly ahead, but not by a lot now. No, I would say the uh, extreme is catching up, but then I did actually invest quite a lot of time in the extreme, and of course I was so far behind because it was extreme. There was that we had absolutely nada, so we have done quite well. So we've got quite a lot of equipment on that now, some fairly decent. I think we've actually gone for yeah, I have. I've got the uh, magnum on that as well because it's I think I'm sure. I've got got different tractors and we've definitely got a different baler but we have got balers and things like that that's it's a definite but I think I've got the Vicon on that one I'm sure I have I've not got I didn't get the fast bail yes I have I remember it dropped one morning and I, I was I was saving up for the fast bail and then on the morning that I was going to buy the fast bail the uh, Vicon We'd leased it the day before, and uh, people do say that um, sometimes gives it a bit of a nudge to use sort of things. Well, obviously I didn't do it for that reason because I wanted the fast bail, but it came and it was something like fifty thousand or something. Which there's no way I was going to waste sixty grand on buying the fast bail when that one's nearly as good. It just doesn't store one in the chamber. So let's just make sure I've done. Let's look on the map, it's the easiest way. Yeah, there's a bit in that corner, we'll just finish that off. So yes, on that one I have got the Vicon Baylor Wrapper. So, the modded one, it's uh, fantastic. It is good, not not quite as good as the fast Baylor, but I thought it was stupid just to, just so as, you know, it nearly does the same thing. Obviously, ideally I would have loved the fast Baylor because it is my favourite, but there was no point in not on going for the fast bail just when such a decent bargain came up so yeah equipment slightly different plus which it's nice to have different equipment and try different equipment if I'm honest let's see if you remember this zoom level next time 
will I remember to look at it? That is the question, and I'm sure you all know the answer to that question. Is ah, oh, needs lime and needs ploughing. That is another thing as well. When we do get to that, we can convert our fields to stand only field eight. I think will. I'll just whiz over. I'll just show you this one last thing because I think you'll all agree that field A isn't necessarily ever going to make a good field for anything other than baling so we may actually keep this field A as our grass field but field 4 that could be converted to traditional farming it's a nice shaped field but this one here because of this hill I'm not so sure this would be well suited for any kind of this bank I think is going to cause quite some issues I suppose we could landscape this and make it a little smoother but I just, I just think it should stay grass yeah I think we should keep this one as grass and this will be our grass because we've, we're obviously we've got our baling equipment so I think we should keep one grass fed at the very least even if we do go this would make a nice field and I think this is an expensive one which is field six oh wow yeah 342 the field 35 the pig thing that's good value field 3 580 wow we're getting silly now yeah this is the one I've got 230 grand it was yeah 6 is big though and you think of 9 yeah so we're, we're definitely going to go for 8 next which we can afford right now we'll stick to grass um, to doing the grass bales do some contracting and we shall gradually expand definitely Trying to think what else. Just feel 24. Wow, getting to the realms of expensive now. Yeah, we are. 22 is a biggie. Yeah, yeah, we're a long way off from that kind of expansion, so yeah, that's the thing of dreams at the minute. We've got a decent set of equipment though. Obviously, if we're going to be going into traditional farming, we need to be also affording equipment like a um, harvester and things like that. So once we get close, we're going to start to need to look for a starter harvester, whether it's to buy new or to look in the sales for one that's coming up. I think going forwards, we have got, yeah, we have. We've got enough equipment now on this Let's Play to actually do, oh, that's a point. Let's have a quick look. See if I have got a load. Can't remember if we. Oh my life! Have we got a loan? Three. Oh, of course. Yes, I did do a loan to pay for the three hundred and thirty thousand. Yeah. So what we'll do is we should buy field eight. Baylor wrap this until the end of this year. We are going to literally absolutely wang all of our profits onto once we bought this field onto literally getting that loan down yeah i'd like to literally hammer that because we i did set us back somewhat but i just didn't want there to be any doubt in people's minds that the progress we'd made on this was not down to the uh, toys i seriously didn't want that so yeah but i remember now it is this let's play where we had 330 grand and I took a loan of 330, we've paid 30 grand off and we've got 300 left so yeah, we'll buy this field and after that we shall just hammer the grass, get that loan gone and then after that we shall start obviously we've got those two contracts as well so we should have a nice buffer from that and we should take it from there, anyway enough withering from me withering, sorry, that's with me looking at withered that's enough waffling from me. Um, I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. And I hope you're going to continue with me on this journey. On Carmston. Our, one of our two journeys on Carmston. I'm going to say goodbye for now. <laughs>